the dilemma we have. I'm a, I don't know if we'll ever be able to fix this. Hi, it's Robbie from Southern California. And some of you noticed a little dog showing up in my videos. Now, let me tell you something. I haven't staged it. She follows me around everywhere I go. So this is Zoe, Z-O-E. We just got her. I don't know too much about her. We got her last week. And so her birthday, she turned nine weeks old. And her birthday is June 26th. She's, they told me she was, oh my gosh, turning nine weeks old. She weighs 0.8 of a pound. So she's less than a pound. She went for her vet check and the vet said she's in good health. He looked at her teeth and he goes, yeah, she's nine weeks old. So she got her second shot. So let me tell you the little story. I wasn't really planning on getting another dog. I'm not trying to replace Kitty. Let me tell you something. I miss Kitty every single day of my life. I miss her so much. She was with me. Well, she would have been eight years old this month. So that's probably, you know, a thing that I think about a lot right now. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I actually wanted to get a Yorkie that was bigger than her. Something with a little more size. She's not sure what's going on right now because she's usually in the house with me, following me around, though she does follow me around in the bird garden. I'll sit back for a minute. So I started looking around. Now, let me go back and talk about dogs. I was thinking of a rescue, and I have had one. My daughter got one. She was half Yorkie, half Chihuahua, and she was the best dog I ever had. I've had quite a few dogs over the years. She was the smartest, best dog. It, she stumbled on her, my daughter. Uh, somebody was getting rid of her, and she was taken away from her mother at three weeks old. It was a horrible thing, but she ended up being the best dog, and I miss her. Her name was Dinky a lot. But I've had Yorkies, I'm not going to say my whole life, I've had Yorkies since I was 18 years old. So that's a long time. And I know their temperament. I know their personalities. And I'm not saying they're the best. But I, I'm used to them and I really like Yorkies. So I decided I was going to think about a Yorkie again. I've had Yorkies over the years. I mean, in fact, years ago, we had a couple Yorkies. And because we had a boy and a couple girls, we would have puppies once in a while. And even to this day, people call me, do you have any puppies? No, we haven't had puppies in years. We don't want to do that. But boy, oh boy, they're just a little dog in demand. They're a little dog with a big personality. Big, big personality. So I started looking, and I, I will say I looked on Craigslist. you got to really be careful anywhere you look, because I looked around different places, puppy.com, whatever, some of the other ones. And some of them were really sketchy. You've I would never give a deposit without at least talking to somebody and doing research, and a lot of them won't answer. You call, and all they want to do is text and send messages, and you don't know what's what. And one person that was horrible was trying to sell me a puppy that was four weeks old. So um, it just a lot of horrible things. But I looked, I looked about over, oh my gosh, I'm going to say about 100 puppies. And then I saw her. And she, had, she was a newly posted puppy. I thought she was so cute. She's got four white paws, a white chest, and she's got a white tip tail. And so I called and the lady answered right away. Well, let's back up. There was another one I looked at and I called. And what I didn't like is the lady docked the tail at about four, four or five weeks old. I, that's very odd. When they do the Yorkie tails, a lot of people don't realize the tails are trimmed. They usually do it between three days and at the latest seven days. So she did it really late and they did it too short. I asked her right to the right to the bone and it was like right up to the body. I said, why'd you do it that short? She says, that's what her vet recommended. And she was a nice lady. So anyways, I saw this picture and she had just posted it for an exceptional cheap price for a little tiny Yorkie. I called and she answered right away. She was right on with all her answers. I mean, you could see she wasn't lying. You knew, she knew what she was talking about. She obviously raises some Yorkies, but she was in a dilemma. She wanted this puppy out. I think she's got a pair. I think that she did not want to have puppies right now. And it sounded to me like she separated them, but that's very tough because sometimes you separate them 
and you get them out just at the last minute and you think they're over their heat and they're not. So she ended up with one puppy. So she said she had just had a newborn baby. She didn't want this puppy in the house. It was adorable. She normally holds her dogs till they're 10 weeks old, but she decided to go ahead and list her because she said tomorrow she'll be nine weeks old. And I thought, you know, she's, she sounded really desperate. On top of that, she sounded reasonable. And she sounded like she knew what she was talking about when she talked about Yorkie. So I said to her, what about the tail? She said, I'm going to tell you right now, I didn't want to have to take the time to go into the vet to do one tail. So I did not do the tail. I didn't want to bother with it. So the tail is still completely intact. That was a big clincher for me because I wanted a tail, didn't I? So what I went ahead and did is I made an appointment to go see her right away because she said she wasn't holding her. It was going to be the first one that came down. We went right away. And can you see it was love at first sight? It was, it was love at first sight. And she explained to me, her sister told me that because her sister brought the puppy out for us to see that her sister was having a problem with her because being only one puppy and they have the pair there and the mother, all she wanted to do was nurse. She could not wean her, and then they separated her when she was eight weeks old. As you can see, she's teething, and she's got lots of toys. They separated her, but she just wanted to nurse on mom, and they couldn't take the screaming. She doesn't like a crate, so I knew about that right away. So I thought, well, that'll work. That'll work. So I went ahead, and we got her. And then the very next day, I took her down, and we had the vet check right away. We scheduled the vet check. I know, you don't want the table. You don't like the table. And he checked her over, and he said she's in very good health. She weighs 0 .0 and 0 0.8 of a pound. He gave her her shot. She was due for another shot. He also wormed her, which she did have worms, so she's going back next week, or this week, I should say, to be wormed again. And she goes back in two and a half weeks to get another shot. The only problem I've got is Jack, which is Kitty's brother, and he's older than Kitty. So if Kitty would have been eight this month, he's, I, I'd have to look up the birth date. He's 10 or 11, and he's not tolerating her. So I'm hoping that's going to pass. But, you know, he misses his sister, and he doesn't know why there's a, a, another dog in the house. Remember, he's blind, so that makes things tough. But we're working with him to see how it goes. And then this outfit, this has got a little handle, so if I had to grab her real quick, I made this. That's another story. These are so fun to make. Let me show you. She's, she doesn't mind wearing them. She likes wearing them. She sits in my pocket. Anything but, but crepe training. Many, many years ago, I'm going to have to say about 17 years ago, I told you we had a couple Yorkie puppies back then. One of them was very tiny, very tiny. The total weight when she was three years old was 18 ounces, and that was top. Otherwise, she weighed about a pound. She's modeling her new outfit. It's purple and teal. The waistband, the neck, and the sleeves are all done in yellow, purple, and teal with little crowns. And the back says Royal Dog Academy. And she loves her new outfit. This is Tinkerbell. She's one pound. She's over a year old. And she's a purebred Yorkie. Bye-bye, Tinkerbell. Say bye to everybody. Up here. Say bye. And I take her everywhere with me because I didn't want to part with her. I didn't know if she was going to live. And I would make her these little outfits. And, oh, she even went into a dog show once and won first, first in the dog show. And so I still had her outfits, and I threw them all in the washing machine, and they fit her. But they're not going to fit her for long. They est the lady estimates six pounds. My vet laughed and said she might make it to six pounds. So she's probably going to be about four or five pounds. But Tinkerbell was, Tinker Tinkerbell was like I said, between 16 and 18 ounces. She lived until she was just over seven years old. Miss her, too. She was, like, right there with me. So, like I said, I've had dogs over the years. I'm up there. I've had, I know a lot about having, you know, dogs and missing them. So it's been really tough. But I just thought I would introduce her. And, you know, I think if, if you're thinking about a dog and if you like Yorkies, look at, look at the dog that you want and look at their temperament. Look at what you're looking for. I mean, they're house dogs, but they're feisty. They're easy to train, aren't you?
easy to train, but at the same time, they're stubborn. You'll see her show up. She follows me everywhere. If I go into the bathroom, she cries outside the door. She's real needy, and I'm hoping she outgrows that. She probably will. But my very first dog, she was interesting. I got her, oh, wow, a long time ago. I was 18 from a lady in Watts, L.A., she was so nice. I went to her. She had a little grooming salon and she was raising Yorkies and she had a couple puppies and there was one that had a bad bite and she weighed her and she was three months old, 12 weeks. And she showed me she weighed two and a quarter pounds. And she said, this dog will be four and a half pounds full grown. She raised enough Yorkies to know that that's pretty standard. It's not a hundred percent, but it's pretty standard. And um, it was her, between her and her brother, and I went with her, had her for almost 16 years, and she was right on the money. That dog was four and a half pounds full grown, and she was just the love of my life back then, and she grew up with my kids. So my kids grew up with Yorkies, and they all know Yorkies. So they're, they're, they are terrier, they are hunters, not all of them, but you know, a lot of them, they've got that personality. I think I like terriers is what it is. I like their ears up, not for any particular reason, but when their ears are up, it's, you got airflow, so you, don't have, you have less ear infections or problems. I wasn't that particular. I just wanted, I don't know what I wanted, to be honest. I, didn't, I just started thinking about it, and Gary said, whatever you want to do, decide what you want to do. And when I told him about her, he said, uh, he liked the idea that she looks different, her, her mother is, also has a white chest because her grandmother is a party-colored Yorkie. That's the, the ones that have the white. And so he said, um, well, he, was, he showed him the pictures. The lady sent me more pictures, and he said, let's go look at her. And right away, we decided we liked her. She started following Gary around the first day, and then all of a sudden she decided, nope, she's going to follow me. She sleeps right next to me in, in the bed. Right, not in the bed. I don't believe in sleeping with small dogs because you can roll over on them. But she's got her own bed on the floor, and she likes that, and she's right there with me. So I just kind of wanted to introduce Zoe, who's warm. I know it's warm out here, and you want to go in. I know. She eats very small amounts. She likes her puppy chow. That's what they started her on, and I didn't want to change it. So she eats that like eight times a day, little bits. But she doesn't, she wants to, I feel bad for her. She really wants to become friends with Jack, and Jack is just not into her. Not yet. I, he might come around. You know, I've been giving him a lot of extra attention and stuff, but we'll have to see. And I don't plan on making her outfits, but it just so happens I had Tinkerbell's outfits. So I thought, you know, yesterday I washed them up and I thought, they fit. And I thought, that, thought this was a good day to introduce her. It's Labor Day, kind of a kickback day. I've been working around the garden, working in my bird garden today and cleaning up in the house. And then I thought, I'll come out and introduce you to Zoe. As a little one that I'm going to have to watch every minute because she's so small right now. And hopefully you'll grow into something tough. And boy, like I said, she's right there. I made a salad yesterday and I went to do a quick photo of it. And she ran right there. She likes watching TV. That is very big. She sits there and watches TV. And we were watching Gardener's World last Friday. And she did not like... Somebody was, cut oh, we were watching um, an older one with Monty, and he was cutting roses. That's what it was. And he was doing rose cuttings. She didn't like that. She was growling and growling at him. I don't know what that was all about. Then we were watching Friday, the other gardener, uh, Gardener's World, but it wasn't Monty. And he was trimming bushes, and she didn't like that. So there's something about the clipping. She starts growling and growling. So I don't know. But she does watch TV. She looks in the mirror, and she checks herself out a lot. Can she... You didn't check yourself out? So anyways, I just wanted to introduce her. My biggest fear is she's so small that she's going to get into something or I'm going to step on her because she's right under my feet. And when she's got a little outfit on like this, it's easy to see. I've taken her to the store once and she sits in my pocket and looks out. And that's basically it. So I thought I'd introduce you to Zoe because you'll probably see her off and on. And hopefully you'll turn into a big dog before somebody steps on you. So that's it. So with that, have a wonderful day. And I am passionate for Yorkies. It's just been something since I was 18. I've always loved and owned, or had, I should say, a Yorkie buddy. 
So with that, have a wonderful day and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye. I know it's, she's saying, it's warm out here. Get me in the house. Plus you were screaming because I stepped outside for a minute just to set up the camera and I heard you, I'm sure the whole mountainside heard you screaming. Bye-bye.